This is the worst uh, winter weather we've had in several years. And so we started really um, gearing up hard probably early last week. Uh, fortunately, all the HDCs have dealt with winter weather and there are systems in place, processes. It's kind of like a well-oiled machine um, on how we operate in order to make sure our residents remain taken care of throughout it all. Yeah, so like, I guess 28 is the goal for the page? Yeah. We use uh, what we call the war room. It's a, a meeting room that we utilize to make coverage every shift. You have people uh, making the calls um, trying to fill the holes when somebody calls in. What if you did like six to nine? Oh, okay. Awesome. Okay. What's your address? What about me this? Tomorrow? You could <laughs> We're just out trying to keep the houses full of essential personnel. This is just one of the many services we provide during the bad weather, keeping the lights and the heat and everything else on. But we've got to have people to staff our units, so we usually prioritize people by direct care and then of course our kitchen and laundry. We can usually get people pretty quick. HDC staff would love to have a snow day too, but I think all HDC staff realize that the, the bigger importance of making sure our residents are taken care of. Yeah, we got to brush teeth, guys. Come on. Right, we do what we have to do to make it work for not us, but for these guys right here, which is the most important thing to us. <laughs> you love it. Yeah, I love it. Oh, I do too. But I don't like that more. Uh, it's pretty common in a weather event or anything, if, if coverage is short or anything, uh, we've got some of the best staff in the world um, who will just fill in where they're needed. you got a good meal, but you've got it everywhere. Yeah. Um, and these guys have rose to the occasion tonight and fought the weather and got here, and we're just having a good evening. David, did you get some? Whenever we have bad weather, we do set up places for staff to stay the night because sometimes staff are just more comfortable doing that. Some teachers and training uh, assistants are staying the night in their classrooms. And then here in the gymnasium, you know, we were able to set up um, five beds, set them apart enough, allow some space. Have a good night, y'all. Thank you, guys. Yeah. So um, my normal shift is Monday through Friday. 8 to 4 30 and it is currently 12 28 in the morning <laughs> and i am here um because our residents need care we had a hole that we could not fill and so i am here making sure our residents in one willow get the care that they need i think a lot of people that get to stay home don't realize that our world doesn't stop here just because of the weather. You know, our residents still need their medications and they still need to be fed. Anything they need while this fun snow goes on. It's when I woke up, it was snowing outside and I don't drive in the snow. So I called my job and uh, they signed somebody to pick me up. Hey, this is Brandon from maintenance. We are here to pick you up. I'm sitting in your driveway. Hope I don't fall now. <laughs> Well, my name is Sharon Ernest, and I'm a rehab instructor, and I've been here 31 years. I just hope this guy knows where he's going, because I'm just following him. I put my life in their hands, and they got me here safely. It's a 24 hour facility, this is my job and I'm dedicated to my job. You want it right here? Okay. And I knew that the girls need me here, you know. It just seemed like I'm, I'm a purpose for them, you know. I just bring joy out into in them. Y'all about to make me cry. Don't cry, Miss Oh, oh 
thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Yeah. And we try to get our guys to experience everything. Um, they they live here, but they're no different than you and I. A snow day is a great day. Both of you get sunny. Like this. <laughs> so we'll do everything in our power to make sure that they they remember the event and it's a positive. To them, they don't see all the things behind the scenes, and really, that's the way it should be. Man. Oh, you got. Gotcha. It ain't packed. No, it's the snow. It's not anything you're doing wrong.